Hey guys, this is Carson Tech here, back with another quick little video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be answering the question that so many people have been asking, and that is, what the heck is that black thing going across the bottom of your DJI Fiendo 3 standard? First off, it is called a gimbal guard, and also many people ask about this, which is a lens cover for my DJI Fanta 3 standard. Many people ask where I get these things from. So I'm gonna be telling you today where I got these from and if they're worth it. And I just wanna answer this question now for everybody who's wondering, like, why do you even need a gimbal guard? So first off, the reason why I purchased a gimbal guard is because these legs actually are pretty flimsy. When you look at them, they're pretty flimsy. And if you ever crash, this gimbal guard really does protect you. It prevents the legs from bending and breaking. It also prevents anything from bottom side going and hitting your gimbal. So when this is actually on here, it really does help. So another thing is maybe why do you need this? So you don't actually don't need this, but this just really helps when transporting your drone because look at that. When that's not on, you can just move your camera all around. So over time, that'll eventually not really fare well for your gimbal. So with this, it just goes and hooks on to your camera and then on the top part of your gimbal here, and there you go. It holds the camera in place even when moving it around and it keeps it from becoming broken. So the brand that I went with at the time of actually purchasing these, it came in a three pack of three things. It came with this gimbal guard, which wasn't modified like this. It also came with this, and then it also came with a lens hood. And the one that I purchased was actually for the DJI Phantom 3 Advanced and the Professional. And that actually makes a big difference when purchasing for this. So, like I said, I actually had to mod these pieces in order to fit onto my DJI Phantom 3 standard. The reason why I bought it for those at the time was because nobody was making a gimbal guard or a lens cover like this for the Phantom 3 standard. But now I've found many different places where you can actually buy them for that. So I'll be leaving some links for all of these down in the description below. The one that I have here is the Anby, I think is how you pronounce it. I mean, obviously it's not actually a DJI product, but it has DJI logo on it. So it looks pretty official and it's carbon fiber and super strong. So now how to actually put this on and how I got it to fit on my DJI Phantom 3 standard if you buy the same exact one that I did. Also, I just totally forgot about the fact that I know the DJI Phantom 3 standard comes with a gimbal guard, but that thing is a piece of trash to put on and take off. It is so difficult to use. So that's why using this is much easier. It goes on and comes off in seconds, whereas the other one is very difficult to use and it seems like you're gonna break your gimbal every single time. So uh, yeah, now continuing on with the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with what I did to this. Now, when I first got this, this had a little pole that actually went up right here and I just went and used a utility knife and cut that off a little bit because if that isn't modded, then this actually does not fit onto there, onto that part of the drone right there so I just had to cut some of that off in order for it to actually fit and that works great and then that's all I modded on this camera protector for the gimbal guard what I did is when looking at it from this way where you can actually read the DJI logo and this is the front side then I just cut off the top right side of this gimbal guard because if that's not cut like that, then on the drone, when you put this gimbal guard on, as you see right here, there's this little box right here on the drone, which is strange. I don't know why it's like that. When you put this on, you need clearance to actually put that on there. So that's why I cut that off. And then that is also it for this gimbal guard. So when you put it on, you just simply snap them in and you'll see that over on this side, there is a little thing that fits in there also. And then your camera, when actually on here, looking down does not see the gimbal guard in the shot. So it works great. Now you may be wondering why I did that instead of just like putting these already pre-cut holes, which by the way, this one right here I put in, but that one didn't work. So yeah, ignore that. But you may be wondering why didn't I just like use it like that. But if you look at it and where there was originally a slit right there, it wouldn't work because the camera pointing down hits the gimbal guard. So it, does not work that way. You have to mod it in order for it to work. So that is pretty much it for the modding of this gimbal guard. And then of course you just simply put the gimbal guard on by these small little zip ties that they actually provide you when they ship this to you. So you simply just put these through right here on the gimbal guard and tuck them over and then tighten them up on the legs of the drone itself. After tightening them up, then you just grab yourself some scissors and chop off the ends of those zip ties. Do that on both of these. 
and there you go. You have your gimbal guard installed onto your drone and this can also be used to carry your drone upside down. I wouldn't like highly recommend this, but I've done this before and it works fine. I mean, obviously you can just grab from the back here and that works just as well. So yeah, that is it for installing this. So I will be leaving links down below to purchase the Anbi. And yeah, if you have another drone, I'll also be leaving links for like the Phantom 4 and some of the others. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. Hopefully it answered your question as to what this was, if you ever had that question. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe and see more videos from me in the future, click that button below to subscribe, even if you're on mobile. If you'd like to check out my last video, that should be up there, and some random drone video should be down there. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.